Protests at the Capitol put additional demands on the Texas Department of Public Safety, and DPS is still providing added security as the potential for protests continues. But that's not the only demand on DPS. West Rappaport looks closer at what agency leaders are telling state lawmakers they need as budget hearings begin at the Capitol. This is uh, something that you, know, you have to look at soberly. State Representative Carl Sherman and the other members of the House Appropriations Committee have a monumental task ahead of them this legislative session. How much money to give each state agency while Texas faces budget cuts? The governor and legislature has made it clear to us that there is no more important responsibility in government than protecting its citizens. DPS is asking the state to approve more than $146 million in six key areas, including preventing mass casualty attacks in public places, enhancing capital security, and cyber and IT upgrades. In its request, DPS says it has thwarted four mass casualty attacks in the past year and a half, but did not go into specifics. In light of protests, demonstrations, and what its director referred to as civil disobedience earlier this year, the agency argues beefed up security at this landmark and funding for threat monitoring programs are crucial to protecting Texans. But critics of the agency's spending worry these new priorities are ousting other important ones in need of attention. I wish we were seeing a lot more urgency about the crime labs. I think the vast majority of the public wishes everyone were much more concerned about are the long lines at the driver's license centers. The DPS Officers Association contends no matter what hand troopers are dealt, they will answer the call. You can't put a dollar amount on that because you can't afford for it to fail at the time that you need it most. I'm Wes Rappaport for State of Texas. These budget hearings come just as we're getting a better idea of how the pandemic has impacted the state's economy. On Monday, the state comptroller said the state's sales tax revenue totaled $2.7 billion in October. That's down 3.5% from a year ago. Sales tax is the largest source of state funding for the Texas budget, and in the preceding three months, revenue was down 5% compared to the same period a year ago. The comptroller pointed out that other taxes the state collects are also down significantly. While the state looks for ways to cut the budget, the agencies in charge of foster care ask for more money. Why they say they need funds to meet court orders to take better care of children. 